Hi, welcome to The Dreaming Drum. This is Bobby Suter. And today I'm going to demonstrate a couple of basic strokes on the djembe drum. And I'm also gonna show you a very simple pattern to play uh, using those two strokes. Uh, it's something very simple that it's easy to remember and easy to improvise off of this, uh, this very simple pattern. So let me show you the basic strokes first. I'm gonna show you a bass and a tone. So for the bass stroke, uh, you want to have your, your hands um, flat and your fingers either together or just slightly apart, but relaxed. Um, you know, not tight, not clenched, but just relaxed, but flat. And the bass sound is the nice, deep, booming sound that you get on a drum. And um, firstly, as you're playing your drum, you want to make sure that the bell, the bottom of the drum, is not flat on the ground. You want the drum slightly tipped so that the sound can come out of the bottom of the drum. So that's why you see it's uh, slightly tipped towards you. It also makes it more ergonomic to play this way instead of if it's flat like this, um, you're gonna, uh, it's gonna hurt your wrists. It's gonna be hitting like this and kind of uh, impacting this joint right here. So the drum is tipped forward slightly and for the bass sound, you use your entire hand and it's uh, the placement of your hand, it's not in the middle of the drum, but slightly off center. That's where the sweet spot is. We, we tend to think the sweet spot is right in the middle of the drum, but it's really kind of off to the center. And you'll find it, you can kind of you know play around and, and you'll be able to find the sweet spot uh, on your own drum. So for this stroke, you your hand is flat, relaxed, um, slightly off center, your drum is tilted, and the motion for this stroke is your whole arm moving up like this. You don't want to, you know, lift your shoulder up like this because eventually you're gonna you're gonna feel that tension in your shoulder. So it's basically just moving your your forearm up and landing on the drum here and letting your hand rebound off the drum like this. And you can hear that resonant sound. You do it with both hands. The other stroke I'm going to show you is called the tone, and it's basically the same position, but just move your hand uh, towards the edge of the drum, and you're going to play it on the pads of the fingers here. Make sure you're not hitting your joints right on the rim or else that's going to hurt. <laughs> you'll, you'll know if you're there because it'll hurt. Um, same motion, uh, just moving your arm up like this and letting your hand, your fingers rebound off the drum. Now a simple foundational pattern that you can play is a pattern that is sometimes referred to as the train rhythm because if you play it fast enough, it kind of sounds like a train. And I'm gonna show you this rhythm. It's bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass. That's the foundational rhythm. And we'll just get going on that for a little bit. And then I'll show you some variations that you can do. Oh, my cat is getting ready to knock the phone over. Hey bud, you're okay, you're okay. <laughs> so here's train. Bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass. And a variation uh, that you can do is you could add notes to that, like this. You 
You can also subtract notes. That's another way to, to um, create a variation on that theme. Here's the train rhythm. Bass, tone, tone, bass. And you can subtract notes. And you can subtract and then add back in. So that's just a basic, basic lesson on the djembe. Have fun with that. And it's really fun to play with other people. And this is a great rhythm to start on because it's very simple to remember. And as long as everyone is kind of contained within that, that basic structure of bass, tone, tone, bass, and you're improvising around that, no matter what you play, no matter what other people are playing around you, it all sounds good together if you're, if you're kind of guided by that basic, uh, that basic rhythm. So thanks for watching. Have fun and happy drumming.